Hello, the Dragon Ball Infinity. I am your uh, DBI admin, Eichenmon, and uh, this is a uh, roleplay admin application video. Uh, so, if you are a role player and you're interested in be joining our staff and uh, working with us, um, this video is for you. Uh, what does it take to be a roleplay admin on Dragon Ball Infinity? Well. It, it was my first position when I started, and uh, it's definitely evolved in a lot of different ways. But uh, for what we're looking for right now in a roleplay admin to join us here on Dragon Ball Infinity, first of all, it would have to be a person who is going to be here uh, pretty regularly. Uh, not just if you're just passing through, you spend a lot of time idling on the game, that sort of thing. Uh, probably not a position you want to take. Uh, or you want to apply for at least, but uh, someone who's here regularly and someone who has a genuine interest in trying to drum up role playing, uh, whether that is and what that is going to consist of is uh, basically creating plots. You're going to be creating like bad guys, villains, and uh, interacting with people's backstories and things. Um, it's not the kind of position you want to take if, like, you're, uh, well, frankly, it's not the kind of position that you want to take if uh, you just want to, you want to play your character, um, or you want to expose on the character that you have in mind, um, because really your function in this position is to create new role-playing elements and to try to persuade people to try out role-playing if they haven't done it before, to create bios, they haven't done that. That's really your first step. Your first step is always just to make people write a bio, because the moment they write a bio, you've got an opportunity, or at least a chance, to get them on the channel. Um, I'm not going to lie, we're kind of in, I'm not going to call it a bad position, but we're in kind of a, a stagnant period right now. Um, and that's why I'm kind of specifically creating a video to, for, for that kind of application. Um, if you think that you have a story or you you think that you can persuade others to at least get interested in and get involved, um, that would be great. I think some new voices in this area would really help. Um, I, I don't want to I don't want it to come off the wrong way, but sometimes I think that people get intimidated by like me and Rizian when we try because not say that we're like so good or so like but we've been doing it a long time. We kind of know the formula. We we know some of the things that work. We know some of the things that don't work. And uh, having another voice in that realm that is maybe not, maybe even not as experienced, maybe just someone who's interested but doesn't uh, doesn't have our same kind of persuasions and same sort of our biases and things, uh, could be a could be a great addition to the staff. Um, but the but the goal of that opportunity would be that you'd be on staff and uh, you'd be an, an admin and you'd have to be trying to get this to, to get off the ground. Um, you'd be having to check logs on the forums. You'd have to, uh, you know, like you, you check that kind of daily, uh, you know, it takes a little bit of time, especially as we all get a little bit older, role-playing gets a little bit harder. So this position really is for somebody that is genuinely interested in getting role-play like kind of off the ground, has some interesting ideas, um, and it's probably probably doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot of things in real life that are barring them from being able to be here. Um, I understand, like, I'm not expecting that person to be here and willing to role play every day of the week or anything, but like, you know, like maybe, maybe if you got like a couple days a week where you definitely can invest at least like four hours into something, um, you know, two to two to three days uh, of any given week that you're able to invest in uh, creating some plots and getting some some characters rolling and uh, your you know, making bad guys and that sort of thing. Uh, we definitely could use a roleplay admin at this point. Um, we got enough, we got a high enough player base that it's uh, it's a necessary position. But 
we're we're definitely going to need somebody that's going to try to push people to actually try to do it or get some of the people that are already interested in doing it to come back and try it again. Um, which, believe me, is a little bit more difficult than you think. Uh, in the same vein as my last video as to like the one year uh, one year thing, um, any new roleplay admin or any new admin in general that we add, uh, the first year is really going to define, uh, really define, I, I'm going to have some kind of strict conditions for you to stay on staff. Uh, and for the roleplay ad administrator, what I really want to see is that I, I want to see at least two, three plots gone through. Um, and I'm, I'm a little bit more lenient with this position than other ones because I understand it's, it's a little bit hard to c kind of cultivate roleplay and keep it going. But what I mean, I'm really saying is that if you want to apply for this position, if you want to try to be one of our new roleplay administrators, uh, you need to kind of have an open enough schedule to where, at the very least, I need to see that you're trying from time to time to, to drum up that activity in that sector. And if it's not happening, if we're not getting role playing going on, um, completely understand I've been in that position before, um, but we might assign you some other tasks. Uh, probably you'd also be a help filer, um, which is not a glorious position, but a very important one. Uh, we have players all the time that are talking about like help files that are not accurate, and so um, if if the very least if we can't if we can't get role played kind of you know get some fire under it for a little bit, um, I, I'd ask, I'd probably be asking you to to update some help files, write some help files, format some help files, and uh, we get a couple admins on staff that we can talk to 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 get some of the the basic necessities for it. But um, that that would probably also be part of the job. Uh, so uh, if you intend to imply, just keep in mind, like if we can't get roleplay off, going off a little bit, this is your other. This would be your other qualification. Would be that you're willing to do help files. Um, I think it kind of falls into sort of the same similar patterns, but maybe not. Uh, so. Uh, if you decide to apply, um, what I really need from you, if you just, if you really want to apply, is I like to see either a bio, like a, a biography that you've written for one of the characters that you've made, um, or I like to see uh, a description of a plot that you would like to run. Um, and I like to debate this off of like brand new characters, like T Zero style characters. And if you don't know what T Zero is, you're probably not qualified to run this job. You should go to the wiki and read our actual wiki um, and look over through our or through our system. Um, but yeah, like it, you're you're basically looking at T zero characters right now if you're if you're applying. So that's the kind of story that you want to you want to start like being willing to tell. Um, and ideally, if we could get things popping off again with role play, uh, you'd ideally be running something at least at least two times a month um is what i would i would really like to see at least at least twice a month i'd like to see some kind of admin like interaction with the players on role play um so that would that would be your goal not that you'll maybe hit it because it's kind of circumstantial it's outside of your control in a lot of ways but um that ideally uh, if you could have two days a month that you uh that you can be here and you can be running some events. Uh, that'd be great. Anyway, um, I'm your DBI and Eichenbond, and uh, I'll see you guys on the game.